Now that Mac request is no longer officially supported on the TLPs, it is time to address multi-boxing setups for 2024. This is my new setup and the new room that I built for my computer stuff. It's nearly the same as the 2023 video, but back then Mac request was working. The difference between Mac request working and it not working is that when you're not botting, you tend to have to pay more attention to the characters that you're playing and you have to issue more commands. The manner in which you issue commands is what we want to look at and then optimally setting up all of these computers to actually run an efficient group and handle any type of pressure situations or emergency situations whether you get trained pull too many some other type of emergency in game is key to having a successful multi-boxing group so as i said this is currently my setup and when you're running things like mac request you don't even have to see the screens you can have 24 computers off somewhere and set them up on their script and, and run pretty much freely even on the tlps before it was not supported that was still difficult because the mac request would unload itself every time you zone so unless you were actually in a zone you would have to keep reloading mac request in order for it to work but very simply this setup that i have right now is only configured to run up to 11 characters there are 11 pcs here when i go to a 13 character setup what i do is those two laptops on the left and right get replaced by actual mini pcs i actually have a six screen display stand so those two 27 inch monitors in the center there that are stacked, you'll see them stacked on the left and right for six total screens. Now, just because I have six screens doesn't mean I'm running six PCs or characters in the middle where I mainly play. I like to have the character on the bottom and then above is my resources, whether it's a leveling guide or I'm looking up trade skill stuff or I'm running something else. I like to have that extra window above. So even though there's six monitors in my normal setup, I only run five characters. How it's set up now is I'm currently only playing nine on the Teak TLP. On the left hand side, I have four. That is a 43 inch quad screen monitor. On the right hand side is the same, a 43 inch quad screen monitor. It has four HDMI inputs. There are four mini PCs on each side. Then what I have done off of one of the mini PCs is multiplicity runs on both the left and right side. What that means is the one keyboard and mouse that is next to the 43 inch monitor actually controls all four screens. So I can take the mouse and move it through the windows freely, just like I have a multi monitor setup. That allows me to easily move the mouse and control four screens. The keyboard, you can issue keystrokes with the keyboard that will hit all four screens. So the best way to set this up when you can't run Mac request in your multi-boxing is to put function-like characters on both the left and right side. So for instance, that left side will be running four mages and all the hotkeys and macros will be the same. If you look closely in front of the laptop on the left side, there is a Super Nintendo USB controller. That is configured with a program called Joy2Key. When I press the A button, for example, it actually presses the number three on the keyboard. That number three is replicated on all four mini PCs to the left. So right near my middle keyboard there as I'm playing my main character, reach my hand over, press the A button, it presses three. Now the reason you would do that instead of using a keyboard is because you can set buttons on that USB controller and it doesn't have to be a Super Nintendo one, it can be anything, to auto fire. You can have them repeat once every three seconds, two seconds, turbo, whatever you need to do. When you're sending multiple keystrokes across multiple characters at the same time, there is a feature that detects this type of behavior on the EverQuest servers and it will disconnect you. To get around that, you install a VPN. I use Surfshark and again, all the equipment and links to stuff I'm using will be below in the description. However, if a VPN is running on all four of those computers and you auto fire something, it thinks the commands are coming from separate computers, not on the same network, not somebody boxing or different people basically playing. That's how you can rapid turbo fire to get around that. Say you want to spam a nuke button or something else. That is why that controller is on the left. So on the left side, four mages or nukers or melee, however you want to do it. I find that it's easiest because I don't need to look at that left screen. I have zero on the keyboard set to follow my tank around. Once they're following, I don't need to look that way anymore, except to take them off follow when I get a camp. I have a hot key for sit so they can meditate, a hot key to follow, and basically a pet attack and a nuking key. So I can literally be playing on my main character and just press the A button on that Super Nintendo USB controller and they will nuke. I have it set up so they'll chain nuke if I want to or how it's set up now, all it does is if I press the button, it will assist the pet and attack. I have a separate button for nuking because I'm early on leveling and I'm having some problems with aggro, which will eventually be resolved as I get higher levels. That can also be done without the Super Nintendo controller. You can just use the keyboard, but that's a pretty far to the left reach uh, and you don't want to be turning that way. So I try to bring 
bring everything grouped to the center as much as possible. Now you'll notice that the center is where my main tank goes and then that display screen above that, that's for my information. The left and right, this is not part of my traditional 13 box setup, but those standalone computers are controlled separately. They have their own mouse and one of them has a Nintendo USB controller and the other one a Super Nintendo controller, which are sitting below the monitor by the tank computer. The reason is for that is because the very important characters, whether it's a shaman or some type of healer, they sit on those standalone computers so I have full control and they're not affected by anything going off to the left or the right or anything auto firing. I also have their own A buttons configured on each controller to spam the heal. Before you get something like complete heal, it takes several heals to heal your tank. And sometimes I just need to focus on the tank and getting aggro on a big pull and I cannot be sitting there pressing on the keyboard the heal key although you can do that too so i actually have configured the a button to cast heal every three seconds and it toggles on and off so i press it it starts healing don't have to worry about that and just shut it off also the same thing i have the sit and meditate button for though but that is why the two laptops are in there they're standalone not linked up to any multiplicity i guess you'd call them real boxes and they're being turbo fired with joy to key four heals when necessary not all the time but i noticed that if i'm trying to basically hit both keyboards to heal on both characters i can't tank at the same time so it adds a little bit of ease in there off to the right side currently only using two of the four because i only have nine active characters those you also want to be like function like characters unfortunately i just have a bard over there who for now is just playing songs to help off the rest of the group and an enchanter on that side which also is emergency only which currently i'm not charm killing because it's too much to handle right now for me until i get some gear in these characters everybody dies too fast but it's there for emergency if i want to hurry up and, and switch over and mess some things or do something on on the enchanter that's the type of stuff that's going on there so left side quad screen i have my damage right side support middle i have the healers on the left and right and then the main tank in the middle if you didn't want to have support classes you could just go ahead and put four mages on that side too it's hooked up the exact same way as the left side there's a keyboard mouse and a controller so that you can issue or auto fire commands through all four of those screens later it will probably be essential for me to add another cleric and a bard that's probably where the 11th will go up to and then if i get really serious i'll add 13 characters and put my six screen display back in the middle. But that's how I'm unboxing in 2024. You can do it without the VPN, you can do it without the controllers, you can do it without multiplicity. They make smaller keyboards. As you notice, each system has a little mini mouse attached to it. You can control it that way. However, you feel comfortable doing it. You can check out the video from 2023 to see how that setup went, and you can check out this hardware video as well. Everything will be linked below. We got P99, we got TLP, we got private servers and tests that's free. Some of us pay, some of us don't, some of us play, some of us won't. Did you just break my mess? Did you just train me?